Our lives in the modern world are extremely busy and most of us never take the time to pause and reflect about the amazing reality we live in. This video helps you stand back for a few minutes and get a sense of perspective on your life. Let's start with your place in the universe. You live on planet Earth. This is the third planet away from the Sun in our solar system. Most of the models or pictures you will have seen of the solar system probably don't give an accurate idea of its scale, because it's so big. Here's a way to think about it. Imagine the Earth is the size of a peppercorn. At this scale, the Sun, which is actually 800,000 miles wide, is about the size of a melon. So here's the Sun, at the centre of the solar system. At this scale, the first planet, Mercury, will be the size of a pinhead, 10 yards away from the Sun. The second planet, Venus, will be the size of a peppercorn, 19 yards away from the Sun. Earth, the third planet, will also be the size of a peppercorn, 26 yards away from the Sun, and so on. Mars, the fourth planet, is the size of a pinhead, 40 yards away from the Sun. Jupiter is the size of a chestnut, 135 yards from the Sun. Saturn is smaller, the size of an acorn, 247 yards from the Sun. The seventh planet, Uranus, is the size of a peanut, 496 yards from the Sun. Until we get to the eighth planet, Neptune, which is the size of a peanut, 777 yards from the Sun, nearly half a mile away, even at this scale. So, the solar system is truly massive. Here's another way to look at it. If the Earth was the size of a grain of sand, then the solar system would be the size of a cathedral. But our solar system is just the one related to our closest star, the Sun. And there are trillions of stars out there. Nearly all the stars we can see with the naked eye are in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Our Sun is just one of at least a hundred billion stars in our galaxy, many of which have their own planets and solar systems too. Our galaxy is about a hundred thousand light years across. So if our solar system was the size of a grain of sand, our galaxy would be the size of a thousand cathedrals. So that's just the size of our own galaxy. When you look beyond this, things get truly mind-boggling. The visible universe, the universe that we can see with the aid of the best telescopes, contains around 10 billion galaxies, each containing around 100 billion stars. So if our galaxy was the size of a grain of sand, the visible universe would be the size of a cathedral. Scientists believe the universe was formed 13.7 billion years ago in the Big Bang. The planet Earth was formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Earth is the only planet that we know of in the universe that has life on it. There may well be others, but we've not yet discovered them. It's just the right distance from the Sun to be able to accommodate life. It's neither too hot nor too cold. The first microscopic life appeared on Earth about 3.7 billion years ago and a vast amount of time passed before the first land animals evolved to live on Earth about 400 million years ago. You are a member of the species Homo sapiens, or human beings, and your species appeared around only 200,000 years ago, which is nothing in the overall life of the planet. If the history of the universe was compressed into one year, human beings and all of human history would only have been around for the last 10 seconds. The earliest evidence of human beings wearing clothes was 78,000 years ago, and agriculture began only 9,500 years ago. Many of the key developments in human history like this that we take for granted have taken place very recently. The last 200 or so years of human history have featured some even more rapid changes and developments in science and technology, from the discovery of electricity to the invention of the motor car, that have changed the way that we understand the world and live our lives. These changes have also had a big impact on our planet, from the massive increase in our use of the planet's natural resources through to the development of urban areas, roads and agriculture. These changes have threatened some of the other 8.7 million or so species that live on Earth. We are now using too many of the Earth's resources. If everyone in the world lived as we do in the UK, we'd need three planets. You are one of a population of 7.5 billion people living on Earth. This is a lot of people. If you lived for 7.5 billion days, you'd be over 200 million years old. On average, people are living for twice as long as they did 100 years ago, and the average person lives for about 71 years. 
but the length of your life will vary depending on where you live around the world. For example, in 2013, the average person in the UK was expected to live to 81 years old, but in Angola, in Africa, it was 52 years. Your life and education will also be very different depending on the country you live in. For example, in the UK, 98% of children attend primary school, whereas in Chad, in Africa, only 32% of children get this opportunity. A big influence on education and life expectancy is the amount of wealth people have and there are big differences in wealth around the world, and even between people within individual countries. For example, even within the UK, the richest 10% of people have an annual income 24 times larger than the poorest 10% of people. So, let's summarise it. You're one of 7.5 billion people, and 8 million other species, that live on a planet that's a tiny speck in the universe, and that sits at just the right place in its solar system to be able to accommodate life. It's amazing that you're alive. You're lucky enough to have been born and to have survived up to the point where you're now watching this video. With any luck, you'll live for about 80 years. So, now that you've got this perspective, how does it make you feel? How should you live your life? What should you do with the remaining years that you've got? It's over to you.